day, I worked hard to put the information together. I made the phone calls, I've written the stuff, I've read wires, I've read the New York Times, the Chronicle, the Examiner, the magazine, I've read everything. I have it all crammed in here. It's like a big exam every single day. So by the time I get on the air, my head is bulging like this. If I, and then I have that moment of, hello everybody, and I say, they're looking. I don't think you're going to like this story. It's about lending institutions that won't lend money for housing in certain areas. It's called redlining. It's illegal. More than that, it's disgraceful. Steve Davis was on the scene shortly after the first reports of the fire came in, and he's here in the studio with us with more on that. Steve? It was a San Francisco-bound train where the fire broke out. About 40 people aboard when it caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> are those the two worst looking people you ever saw? You would like to think that as you were younger, at least you were better looking. At Turns least? Out, no, no, not a bit. Not oh, a bit. my Lord, is that terrible. Oh, well, uh, we were good journalists, Steve. That's right, you were. We were. I think uh, well, probably silly. that it's appropriate, since I've been here all this time and they can't miss me because I refuse to go away, that we ask Marcia what she's been doing since she left us in the lurch and watched my career go into steady decline <laughs> with absolutely no feeling for the responsibility of that. Well, first of all, I think, missed kid? you a lot. I didn't have you in Los Angeles, which may be why I'm not on the air anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did the news for, for a while for CBS and... Um, then left it for a little while and then went back on the air and now I'm making the segue into the entertainment business as uh, women are wont to do after a certain age in Los Angeles. <laughs> I thought they had to do that at the other age. Which age are you talking the, about? The, well, the one that comes before the certain age. Well, whatever. See, I never understood what he used to Sorry, talk about. It's okay. <laughs> <don't> <laughs> anyway, I'm now running uh, Carol Burnett's company at Walt Disney. I work for the mouse. We salute every morning and uh, we have a good time. You like doing that? I actually like something new. I need, I always need stimulation. I need to feel I as if I'm that. learning. Every day, <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, that's right. It, it was that wonderful, energetic, manic kind of person <laughs> that we right. came to love here. Well, part of it is that I, I love the news because it was different every day. But after a while, and in Los Angeles, they, they tell your anchors, they say, we want you to sit down, read the news, don't give us any trouble, mm -hmm. go home. Mm -hmm. So that when you want to do reporting, you want to be involved, they really are not happy with that. See, up here, that's why we walk in, we, what can we do today? Mm -hmm. Down there, it's a much more laid back world. And mm -hmm. I'm not so hot in a laid back world. So I now can I'm imagine that's probably business. not true, yeah. Marcia. Having known you for a number of years, I think you'd have difficulty with Anyway, I've kept in there. touch uh, with what you're doing. And I, every time I come to San Francisco, which is very frequently, I watch you. Oh, and nice you're always you. one of the best reporters that this station has ever had, I think, in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. You're generous. Now, and I, you do, though, however, keep, just because you've gone into another business, you are vested, are you not, and therefore uh, eligible for the old anchor's home when the time comes. I am. Uh, uh, after keeps people. me in its pension plan. Yeah, but yeah. I want to ask you, there, there used to be a guy that worked with us that was really kind of strange. He was one that of the worst weather down. people that ever, ever walked because he never oh, knew yeah. anything about the weather. Do you remember him? Do you remember his name? He could draw, though. He could draw. Of the same <laughs> Back temperatures again will be mild tomorrow. San Francisco, 54 degree high. In Reno, 43 degrees, minus 6 degrees at Tahoe Valley. And this front is now moving away, taking a bus and going far away. All the way around the San Francisco Bay Area, temperatures will be in the middle to upper 50s. And the forecast for tomorrow is put your fur bikini in the dryer because last night we said wear a fur bikini. However, it did get very wet, and the result being you need to dry it off. Well, that's how I did it in the old days. <laughs> Put a bikini in a dryer, I can't believe it. This is oh, great. I love this show because this is the sideburn show. Have you noticed that? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, I have to tell our wonderful audience what I miss most about you. You know what it is? What? You're complaining. I was a complainer? Complaining. I never, I missed your yeah, complaining. Very good. You're we friendly, warm, complaining to me, just saying the food's not hot <laughs> enough. Where are we going for dinner? We're going to go out to the Mission District and get some Mexican food. Remember, we used to go there all the time. Made me pay. Oh, that's that's that <laughs> you and it was wonderful pay. being, yeah. and Jack will back me up on this. It was, see, we Maybe were Marsha's boys. So that <laughs> everywhere that Marsha went, Marsha yeah. had her boys. I mean, because it was required. Uh, 
to have boys on the set with you. Where <laughs> it's getting rude. It is. It, it really is. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but yeah. in line with what Jack said, it was wonderful to be one of Marsha's boys because you would handle the complaining yeah. and get results. That's it. And we could be nice. That's right. And you guys, like I remember, this. used to give me complaints to complain about. Mm -hmm. yes, and, then, and then you talk about me behind my back saying that I'm a big complainer. No, we never did yes, that. No, you we did never that did that to your time. face. We always did that stuff. Behind remember my that? back. Yeah. No. So now that Don't you're not forget. doing the weather, are you being uh, happy? I am Are you happy. both happy? This is really funny being here. Yeah, yes, I am, uh, Marcia. <laughs> so having a little conversation here in front of all these people. Actually, we've been good friends for a long, long time, and it's, yeah. a, it's wonderful to see you up here. It makes, you know what? It's it a is, very it's bittersweet silly. kind of feeling right yeah. now because I really loved working with the two of you the most. Me and too. it's never been the same. The news was never the same. This going to other stations was never the same. No tears. No tears. No tears. And no, you no, were right. our sports yeah. guy. Yes. That's right. Yes. You, Don, it's your fault. Do you remember? It's, it's, yes, it's and uh, the, the great thing, too, I remember, yeah. is she was always giving advice. She was, she yeah. was a mother to me. I, yeah. Complaining, kids, advice. Kids, yeah. raising kids. She knew all the answers. But my favorite time when we were walking out of the dressing room, remember the two of us just walked out together after the show? I'm afraid of I always thought it was I'm afraid odd that you were in the we, dressing we, room. We walked, we, we walked out of the dressing room, and you pointed over to the light switch, and you went, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, me? And you went, yeah. <laughs> Did I do that, that summed up everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of Marsha's that boys. Was good to see That's you. it. <laughs> Marcia, after the show. Good yeah, to be here. Show. Steve, thank you. It was wonderful to see you. You're welcome. Again, of course. And there's still more to come. Coming up next, another Channel 7 news team will come together via technology. But first, well, how about an 80th Santa Rosa? Napa was 78, and hello! Tough for the kids when both parents want the same thing. If you go to the movies, you saw it in Kramer vs. Kramer. I want my son. You can't have him. The fact is, that kind of situation goes on all too often in real life. And sometimes California's new shared custody law makes it tougher on both parents. Good evening, San Francisco. This is Ken Matz, live by satellite from WMAR-TV Channel 2 in Baltimore, Maryland. After working in San Francisco at Channel 7 from 1979 through 1982, it was on to Los Angeles, where, by the way, I worked with Marsha Branwin, who we just saw. And then, basically, it was a trip home back to the East Coast. I grew up about an hour and a half from Baltimore in the town of Reading, Pennsylvania. You probably know it from your Monopoly board. I've been at WMAR for a little over four years. Baltimore, a great city. Chesapeake Bay crabs, oysters and clams. Johns Hopkins University Medical Complex. It's an entertainment center for Washington, D.C., 50 minutes down uh, Interstate 95. Up 95, two hours, you're in Philadelphia. Two more hours, New York City. Every now and again, I get to see some of my friends from Channel 7. And I do miss the Bay Area, but not that stinker commute over the bridge. Before this turns into a monologue, though, I'd like to introduce the young woman who was my co-anchor for about two years, Dorothy Reed. And Dorothy, what have you been up to?